Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This your boy, I am Core, back with another tutorial. So, for this tutorial, I want to show y'all how to change or convert a mono file to a stereo file in Pro Tools. So, as you can see right now, I'm working on a uh, on a surround sound uh, video for one of my school projects. So, actually, I can't do surround sound from home, but I can import, you know, my files in here. But then when I get to school, I'm going to convert the session to surround sound. So, I have, let's see, I have a mono file that I wanted to import in here. It's pretty much the ambience for the warehouse. I'm going to show you all. Let me mute this. This is from the original. So, as you can see in the video, the setting is in a warehouse. So, I want, you know, warehouse ambience. So, the ambience that I found, we'll go to import audio. The ambience that I found, I want to say it was mono. Yep, channel one. It was this one. So I'm going to click on Convert, hit Done, import it in here. A new track, hit OK. And as you can see, it's a mono file. But I want it to be stereo. So what I'm going to do, I've already created a... Uh, a stereo audio track. If you don't know how to do that, you hit Shift Command N, and you get you know your new track window to show up. So I created one track. I made it stereo. I made it an audio track. Then I click Create, which is how I got this track, which I named Ambience. So what I want to do is I want to duplicate this track because this is a stereo audio track and this is a mono mono track. So I'm going to hit Shift Option D. I'm going to make sure I got this track selected. Hit Shift Option D. Then you're going to get this, Duplicate Tracks. Uh, so I want to duplicate the Active Playlist, which is going to include this region right here. And for now, I can leave all these checked because right now I don't have no inserts or sins going on that I don't want to duplicate, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to hit OK. So now I got a duplicate of it. So what I want to do here as you see the pan, I want to pan this one all the way left, pan this one hard right. I'm going to hold shift, select both regions, and then I'm going to hold control and option to duplicate it and drop it. So control, when you hold control, it just keeps it lined up on the grid because right now I'm in slip mode. So if I don't want it to go off, like say if I move it over here, if I hold control, it won't let, let me move it left or right. So that's the purpose of holding control. Alt will duplicate. So I'm going to get rid of these two. I don't need these now. Do I want to delete them? Yep, delete. And then here's my ambience right here. And that's it. So uh, hopefully this helps some of you out. If you have any other questions, please let me know, and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Appreciate the support. Peace out. Bow.